right guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews. Um, so I want to do a little update video. I didn't really post a video on the making of these, but um, I've had these custom headlights on my 2019 WRX for a few months now. Um, and I just want to kind of give you an update, tell you what I got going on here and show them off. It's a little dark, so hopefully the video is okay. Um, but I'll give you just a, a view here. Hopefully that flash doesn't reflect too bad. So blacked out housings, uh, you can see the halos, and I don't know if you can tell by the video, but the sea lights, there's an LED board in there as well. So let's go ahead and kick them on here for you. And I'll turn the flash off on the video. Oh, they're a little bright. So, here, let's do it this way. That's eh, still just as bright. So, <laughs> Um, so like I said, I got the housings blacked out, the sea light, halo, and the demon eye, all three, and they're hooked up. They're also switchback LED, so they work with my turn signals. Anytime I turn my turn signals on or off, they'll flash, and then after my turn signals turn off here, they will actually switch back to... The original color that they were set to um, so I'm gonna turn them off myself here so driving white sea light green halo green demon eye obviously when I have my headlights when you can't see the demon eye at all um, and then for show I like green so sea light changes to green halo and the demon eye are all green they look amazing um, the only issue I've had so far with the entire setup if I switch over here, see if I can get a, if I can see it there, that little pink area, my lights kind of freaked out on me a couple months ago, and they were strobing while all the power was cut off to them, and for some reason, I now have two, uh, two LEDs on my passenger side that are stuck, so... Just to give you an inside view here, so the only thing you can really see for the lights is this wire right here. And then obviously now that I got the new intake in the car, you can see all the connectors down in here. Uh, I still need to cover these ones. This side, kind of the same thing. If you look down in there, you can see the connectors are all tied up. Everything runs back behind this panel. There is a remote switch as well as the Bluetooth connector from XK Chrome that I'm using to power them via my phone. I can change these things. They're all RGB, um, so I can change any change it to any color I want, and that's what these are. These are the power controls for the the two different XK Glow. Hold on, i got to move some stuff here. There's a car coming. Uh, <laughs> for the XK Glow controllers, there's two of them back there for the different lights. Um, Light-wise, the C lights are from Subi Speed and Morimoto. It's a collab they did. They're RGB switchbacks. The halos are Circuit Demon V1. Uh, they are the V1 hex halos, and then the Demon eyes are just from XK Glow. So, uh, like I said, guys, love the lights. Hopefully, hold on. There's some noise coming by here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Looks like somebody's moving. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, these things hold out like I hope they will. And there you go. Switch back again. Another car coming by. See if I can watch, see if I can keep them here for a minute. So they switch back to the white and green. I know the video is showing pretty bad. They are all amber right now except for the demon eyes, and boom. So that's the switch back feature, and this side didn't switch back. That's lovely. A couple little glitches. Now, like I said, I did all this stuff myself. Um, tore the headlights apart, put all the electronics in. The wiring harness is mine. Um, I custom built, soldered all the ends and all the drivers into the harness. Uh, so it's all solid and tight in place most of it's watertight except for those few connectors on the ends of each light uh, right at the headlights there and then like i said it goes to a switch so it runs off two power sources when i turn my driving lights on inside the car they will turn on or if i hit the switch 
on the control panel and I'll link whatever uh, what the switch is I'm using I don't remember it's a four channel um, so channel one for me turns them on in general and then through the XK glow Bluetooth controller there's an emergency line that will override whatever it's set to um, eventually I'm going to use it for um, like if I decide to start running with the fire department again I'm going to use it to run red and, or white and blue flashers in my headlights all of those will flash and sync so it'll be another option for lights if I decide to run for the fire department again um, and then channel 2 activates so in my case channel 2 activates that that override line and for this one here I just have it set to green so that's that's all I got for you for this review guys um, if you check out the rest of my videos you like the channel give me a like a subscribe leave me a comment Tell me what, what else you'd like to see. Um, I got some more videos coming here in the future. I am quarantined right now, so they're they're a little limited. But hopefully I can get some more out here in the next couple days. Alright guys, this is Matt signing out. Later.